Uh, this question is detect pattern of length and repeat it k or more times. So, so what you need to do is um, that you are given an array and an m and k. So m repre m represent the length, k represent the number of time. So in this case, we have a value four that is repeating four times, right? And each one is length of one, right? So uh, if you have more than uh, more than or equal to k, you can return true. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. But we only need three times. So this is return true over here. So this is length of two, and uh, this is going to be repeating twice. K, re k represent you know how many frequency, right? So this is one time this is another time and since there are two times and then you can just return true so k equal to three using a similar array this is one time this is two times and this is size of two right so this is size of two size of two so this one has to be one two but unfortunately this is one three so uh yeah so this is the approach so how do we do this is I'm not going to use example one. Example one is two, three, four. I'm going to use example two. So, no matter what, like this one and this one, your starting value are going to be the same, right? So, I'm going to say this is I, this is J, and then once they move together, so if they are the same, they move together to the right, right? So once they are the same, they move together to the right. And then once they are satisfied, you know, um, are satisfied frequency for k, then I will return true at the end. Uh, if not, I'm just keep doing this. And if they are definitely not the same, so for example, just for example, um, this is this is i. And your next position for j has to be i plus n, which is going to be here. This is going to be J. This is because your pattern is size of two. You have to move this window um, in a pattern way, something like this. All right, anyway, let's just stop coding. Um, so I'm going to have I equal to zero and then J equal to I plus N. And then, and also I want to have a count to count how many uh, frequency I have for currently. And then what I need to do is I want to make sure the J is less than Aurora lens and also I++, plus plus, J++. Plus plus. They have to move together, right? So if Array A I does not equal to Array A J, I will have to reset my count equal to zero. Else if, um, else if this is going to be what? This is going to be not the same, right? So if I say else, they are definitely the same, right? So I can say, oh, count plus plus and I'm going to make sure if count is equal uh, the frequency is going to be k but uh, again i and j are pointing at the same value which means one of them is taking away one frequency right so it's going to be k minus one times m and then you'll return true here and then you'll return false here so Think about this, if, else, if, and then you return, why are we not doing this? If, else, and then I increment the count, then I do the condition check, then I do, uh, then I do a return right here. So this will be the solution, should be good. Yeah, so time is space times this one, space is constant, times all of them. All right, see you later, bye.